Okay. So I shared this post, but and I put a um, description of how I did this, but I don't know if it was confusing or not. Okay, so this is what I did. I'm going to make this video quick. I'm not taking this whole thing apart. So I took, um, I took this screw out of the bottom, and then this whole uh, stand part came apart, okay? And so I took the wires, which were attached to the... Um, the battery terminals, this is a battery operated fan, it's not a 12 volt fan. So I took the wires, one was attached on this side and one was attached on this side. So I cut them off. Okay, so I cut them off and I stripped them with a little wire stripper. Sorry, this is not here, I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, so I stripped these thin wires with the wire stripper and then I took just a regular USB um, cable that I have for my phone and I cut, let me show you an example. I cut the tip, this tip, the tip that goes on the phone. There's two tips on a USB cable. There's the USB part, and then there's a the part that goes into the phone or whatever device you're charging. I cut this tip off of the USB cable, off this black USB cable, okay? Now, when I cut the tip off, and I don't know if you can see it with this multicolored, let me, sorry guys. Um... So when I cut the tip off the USB cable, it had four itty bitty baby wires. And my phone is not, uh, my focus is not focusing. There we go. So it had um, a red, a green, a white, and a black. So I had cut this off and stripped it and found these four wires in it. So then I stripped the red, green, white, and black wires very carefully because they're even thinner than this wire by itself, okay? So they're even thinner, so be careful. I actually ended up cutting the white one while trying to strip it, so I had to strip it further down. Then I had to trial and error. Um, it took me three tries to figure out what two wires touching which two of these wires made the fan turn on. So I plugged in. I plugged this end into my USB um, charge thing and kept touching wires until the fan came on. And once I realized which two colors went on this side and which two colors went on this side, then I taped them with electrical tape together. So now I have a USB uh, attached to the fan. And the reason I did this, guys, is because I left my fan on accidentally all night last night and the batteries died and I don't have any more D batteries. And so I said, there's got to be a way. <laughs> So I don't have to keep buying batteries. So now I just take my USB, okay, and I plug it in, uh, wrong way, or was that the right way? Hold on. And as soon as I plug it in, the fan turns on, okay? So I don't know if you, um, this shirt is hanging up. Let's see if... It's a fair amount of air. It's not going to blow you out of the car. It's not that much air. But for a USB fan, it's doing pretty good. It is a little noisy. But I'm not going to sleep with it on. And I'm probably going to turn it off now because it's cooled down. It's not as, um, you know, the sun's starting to go down now. So it's much cooler. And I've had it on for about 30 minutes now. So it's much cooler. I've got the sliding door open. I've got all the windows open, so I'm feeling pretty cool now. I'm, you know, getting ready to settle down in the next maybe hour for bed. So I hung it up so that it would blow right on me in the bed. So it was blowing right on me. So that's how I did it. So um, and I can sit it here if I want. I, I and then I put the stand. I put I screwed this back on because that's kind of like the stand. Otherwise, it would have just been the straight fan and I thought that's not going to sit up any kind of way if I sit it on something it's good for hanging or if I want to sit it like that and have it blow across um, there to me okay so yeah that's what I did I hope that makes sense